So my science bit and my best way to figure out if you want to have children is to simply I lost my camera stand, so you guys are going to be balancing on a mixture of conditioner and collagen or protein powder. Let's get you guys the right height. Okay, there we go. My most requested video, how to know if you want to have children or not. As a mum of two who genuinely did not imagine becoming a mum, who did not get that ooh whenever I saw children, who does not particularly love kids other than my own, who would rather have a room full of dogs or go and visit an animal sanctuary than go and do something with children or children's birthdays, I thought I probably wasn't going to be the one to have children. Now, there's lots of reasons to have children and there's lots of reasons to not have children. There's a beautiful life if you choose to be child free. There's a beautiful life if you choose to be parents. I'm gonna give you all of those scenarios. I'm also gonna give you the one thing that helped me make my decision. The first thing I'm gonna jump on in with is reasons why you shouldn't have kids. Because I think this is really important. And number one, please do not have children to fix or mend a relationship. If you have cracks in your relationship, a child will break those wide open and it's not their intention they want you to be together but you are tired and overstimulated your relationship becomes the bottom of the pile because you have other things to deal with your relationship if it has those cracks will most likely implode number two most people want babies they forget that babies turn into toddlers turn into teenagers turn into adults turn into us when you are picturing yourself wanting to have a child you need to also think what does that look like when they become a teen? What are all the stages? What am I imagining for motherhood? Because hopefully, if you're lucky, you'll get to experience all of them <laughs> to the day they grow up and you're a grandparent. But a lot of us, when we're thinking you wanna have a baby, we're just thinking about having a baby. So I want you to adjust your mindset. This can help some people. It can put some people off because they're like, no, I just want a baby. Some people are like, I hate the idea of a baby. I love the idea of a toddler or a preschooler or I love the idea of a teen. So have a little think about that. Thirdly, don't have children to cure your loneliness. How often do we see grandparents or parents who haven't seen their kids for a while? So please, if you're thinking, I don't want to be lonely in an old person's home when I'm 80, a child is not the one for that. Next, I'm jumping into what society, our friends, family, TV has made us think we don't want to have children for. The biggest one being, and it's okay if this is your reason for not wanting to have a child. I hear so many people that feel this way, but don't want to say it. If your biggest reason for not wanting to have a child is because you don't want your body to change, I'm gonna take a vain moment here because I'm really fucking proud. I've had two kids, two kids. I'm eight months postpartum. I have never loved my body more than I have after having children. In fact, the way I treat it, how much kinder I am, the dysmorphic thoughts, the abuse that I would give to my body previously, I truthfully fall in love with my body more than ever before because I now know what it's capable of. I've seen what it can go through. I've seen how it can transform. I have this whole different appreciation for it. Now, I'm not saying every person is going to love their postpartum body. It takes time but what is incredible is that when you have a baby and no one talks to you about this is you have to let go of your body which is freeing and terrifying at the same time then you're left with this like shell afterwards and it's pretty much like being given a brand new body and being like how do you want to mold this because this is new it's like your fresh start your chance to undo all the years of dieting or other things or whatever that you've done to it and start again and I truthfully wish more people could experience that with the support and the knowledge and the help and it's something I do to help people. So what if we've been lied to? What if you could love your body so much more and love yourself more after having a baby? Now, yes, of course, some people are gonna hate their bodies after having a baby, but what if you don't? So what if you haven't had a child for fear of not loving what your body is like afterwards, yet you could have loved your body more? Number two, money. We're told that kids cost a lot of money and yes, university schools, set up fees like having a baby seat and maybe a stroller and maybe a cot but I honestly think and I have two kids they don't cost as much as they say to us there's an expensive way of having kids and there's a cheap way of having kids you can make it as expensive or as affordable as you need the biggest one for me the idea of losing my freedom I didn't want to have kids because I didn't want to lose my freedom and I hear this a lot and truthfully yes you lose a level of freedom you lose the spontaneity and you lose the opportunity to do some things that you would have maybe done before 
for a brief period of time. So for example, I can't be like, I am gonna go and do a 25 mile hike unless someone has my child or unless I carry him the whole time. But I could organize myself to do a 25 mile hike <laughs> if I can get someone to have him, if I can switch with my husband, if I plan it. So truthfully, you lose the freedom in respect of spontaneity, and that's probably one of the hardest things. But that doesn't mean it doesn't come back. <laughs> Once you get to like four, three, four, and if you have community to help you, family, you can get that spontaneity back very quickly. Can't travel, the last one. I have traveled more since having my kids than I did before. We've moved overseas with our kids. Travel is more than doable. In fact, you get treated beautifully. In a lot of cases, you get sent to the front of the line, you get special access, travel is free for kids under a certain age. The only difference with travel with kids is you need more snacks and a little bit more planning. Other than that, depending on how you handle it and what you plan to do, you can do all of those things. Okay, reasons to have a kid. You get to see the world through someone's eyes. Something I wish everybody could experience Watching them fall in love with the world and the things of it that you had forgotten about is beautiful. Seeing them discover the ocean, a butterfly, a new food that they love, how to dance, how to learn to tell a joke. This is wonderful and it makes you relive your childhood. Experiencing unconditional love. I don't think I truly knew what love was until I had children and it's realizing that that love is there no matter what they do. I don't have to like them, I can be angry with them, I can be sad with them, but I still love them. And I don't know how, I don't know if I experienced that before. That was magic, that is magic. Growth and fulfillment. We're taught to strive for happiness in life, but I actually think that contentment comes from growth and fulfillment. And having children and giving them all that nurture and guiding them and teaching them showing yourself that you're capable of doing that and the consistent growth that comes through juggling all of that and learning new things all the time provides the fulfillment which brings the contentment. It brings a lot of frustrations in there as well, overwhelm, all sorts, but it does bring one hell of a lot of fulfillment and growth. Reasons to be child free. Freedom. You can have all the spontaneity, you can do whatever you want to do, provided you don't have a pet because then you're actually in the same boat as we are. <laughs> Finances, of course, if you don't have children, you are going to have more finances. And with a world that costs so much money, I understand not having kids to provide a better future for yourself. Career advancement and focus. I do believe that having children, and I hate that I'm gonna say this, puts a little bit of a halt to your career. And I'm someone that has three businesses and is very, very proud and coaches women through businesses, but yes, if you're in a corporate job or a nine to five job, it's very likely that you won't go back to the job that you previously had, that you might find that your peers have overtaken you or that for women, and I hate this, you will not be given some of the roles that you want because you are of childbearing age and they presume you're going to leave. So actually choosing to not have children, I do believe gives you an advancement in your career. Environmental impact was possibly the biggest one and the one that people scream at me for the most. How can I have two children in a world that feels like it's on fire? And truthfully, my honest thought here is, I'm hoping that my children will help put out the fire. Personal choice. It is incredible to just be able to say, I don't wanna have kids. In fact, my daughter who's five, she says, I don't wanna have kids, mummy. And I love that. It's personal freedom of choice. You don't have to have children. It does not mean you are a better person because you've had children. It doesn't, I don't believe it's the meaning of life to have children, I'm sorry. I think you have incredible, meaningful life without children. I think you have a beautiful, meaningful life with kids. It does not make you better or worse than somebody else. It is personally just a choice and a beautiful one to be able to make. And for a lot of people, I truthfully feel like if there was some test we could all take that you had to pass before you could become a parent, I think that would be a really good idea because a lot of us shouldn't be parents. Like a lot of us, if we're not dealing with the stuff from previous and generations and our own beliefs and our own worries and stresses, we're just creating more. Part of me is like we should have to follow some kind of therapy course to break a load of generational things and personal problems before we bring another one in. But that's probably a video for another day. As promised, how to know if you want to have kids. This worked really well for me because I never got that overwhelming, oh my gosh, time is running out, I need to make a decision now. Instead, I just had this feeling of, I need to research if I want to have kids. 
So I started researching on the internet and looking out for families and people and mums and single mums that were living and being parents in the way that I would like to be a parent, which was I wanted to still be able to do my job. I wanted to still travel, possibly move overseas. I wanted to parent differently. I wanted to still maintain my friendship groups and my time with my dog and hold on to my identity. So I started mood boarding and journaling the kind of parent I would be and the kind of mum I would be and also the kind of relationship I would want to be in, what I would want from my partner. And we sat down and we discussed it. How could parenting truly look for us? How could it be different to what we were both brought up with? What don't we want to bring with that? And when I had that discussion and I saw that all laid out in front of me, I then realized that motherhood could be something that I wanted because it was going to be on our terms and because we had this idea of what it could look like that actually made me go yes instead of made me feel like no. So I definitely encourage you to sit down and to ask yourself a bunch of questions which I'll put in the description below so you guys can use them to see what motherhood would look like for you but also on the flip side to see what being child free would look like for you because I see so many people now choosing to be child free which is incredible but they actually don't know what to do with that time. So they're almost filling that with other things and feeling like I'm not using this in the way that I want to. So while you're also looking at what motherhood could look like or family could look like, take a look and think what could child free look like? What does that open up for you? What would you use that for? What do you want to see in your life? What do you, all of those questions, so I'll put them below. So my science bit and my best way to figure out if you want to have children is to simply research what child free and your style of motherhood would look like and see if that does anything. See if it turns on your ignition switch. I hope you love this video. I hope it didn't piss anyone off, it's my personal opinion. Whatever you decide will be beautiful, whatever you decide is your decision. And actually we should be really freaking grateful that we are able to make that decision. A lot of people don't get to decide. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.